somehow it's already the middle of October and it's time to add some spiders and bat activities into our October schedule. So I've laid out a bunch of things that we're going to be using here and I'll just go over everything. First off, I've made some cute images that I downloaded and printed off of my printer, some cute fuzzy bats and some fuzzy spiders. These aren't too scary, but they're going to be a lot of fun to look at through the rest of the month. And next, I got this idea off of teaching two and three year olds. So it's just a repurposed Melissa and Doug ring sorter and I'm going to put this little basket of spider rings and this will be fun for the kids to put these rings onto these dowels. It fits just about perfectly. We're going to make these spider props to go with our spider song that we'll be singing and I think we're going to do some spin art with these spiders. Put them in a salad spinner with some drops of paint and watch some cool designs made. And then for a change I've got these purple straws that we will tape onto the back. Next I have this little spider craft that I ordered from Oriental Trading Company. It comes with these little dowels and they scratch off the black paint to reveal different colors underneath there so they can scratch their own design into these be a good fine motor using that little dowel and then the little black legs will lace through that spider next I've got these purple bats that I cut out with a template and then we're gonna do a, a colorful collage on that with some cute little googly eyes and this will be a fun little bat craft we could also put that on a stick and make those fly around and then this one is going to be a spider web uh, lacing activity. So they can paint this plate, um, but it's not completely necessary. What I'll do is I will hole punch around the outside and then they will lace the string back and forth and make a nice spider web. And then I have these little spiders, these sparkly ones that I can glue on, or we've got these ones that I found at Dollar General. They actually have a little sticky dot on the back that they will stick onto the plate. So a couple options there. And this was a fun set of spiders that I have all different colors, more realistic spiders. I think I'll put these in the sensory bin, maybe do some painting with those as well. I've got some tabletop activities with the bat pom-poms to do. And then we also have spider web counting cards complete with little spiders to put on for counting. And for some cutting activities, I've got my little squeezy scissors here that I love and some regular scissors just to show you the squeezy scissors have this little spring on them it helps the kids open and close them and I printed out these spider cutting cards as well as some of these spiders from that uh, just on regular paper from that spider counting activity so what they'll do is they'll just cut these spiders out vertically and then we can save those and it would be fun for the kids to have a gluing activity glue them on some colorful paper so next I have these cute bats I have a little block set with some matching shapes so they'll just have fun matching the shape to the bat and then I also have this set of color matching bat cards and then I've left the bat card complete and they will just lay the different colors and match them onto the big card. For our writing center some of the dot pages that we can use either with the big giant pin punch and they can punch those out or use them as a dot to dot or a coloring page as well as this bat writing card and then also just some cute coloring sheets and then I also found this bat mini book and that's always fun for them to do. We can use that as a group activity or I could just keep it in the writing center. For circle time we're going to have spider props and I'll glue them onto the sticks and we have a fun spider sp song that we will sing with that. I will put that link below. Their attention span is, seems to be getting a little bit better with reading at circle time so I'm gonna read this book Hello Bumblebee Bat and I found these these tiny little bumblebees that I think will be really fun for the kids to hold while we are reading that. And the books that we have to read are Spiders by Gail Gibson. We have The Very Busy Spider by Eric Carle, and then just some nonfiction bat books. So this is a little activity that I made. I had these squishy spiders. I think I got them at the dollar store. And I wrote the letters that we've been working on with this chalk marker just in white. So I think we can do a lot of different fun activities throughout the next couple weeks and just helping the children to review some of the letters that we've been working on. So they can match these to a bigger paper with the letters written on it, maybe in lowercase, or just reach into a mystery bag and we can see which letters they pull out. This is that bat prop that I used to cut out my template for the collage. You can see the shape, but this bat prop I will probably just put some double-sided 
sticky tape on the back of these and make a few of them so the kids can have fun pulling them on and off the wall or the windows or anything and just kind of play with those. The last activity we're going to be doing is the spider counting snack. We've got this free printout that is a guideline. So we have cookies, we have the pretzel sticks and some frosting as well as some chocolate chips for the eyes. So I think this is going to be a lot of fun. I'm really excited to be adding this. Lots of good science here but also just some spooky fun that blends in perfect with the season. I hope that this helps and I hope that it gives you some good ideas and inspiration for the spider and bat theme and the rest of October. But stay tuned because in the next couple weeks I'll be making a video showing the kids using these materials and all the fun that we're going to be having. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out.